Hey, what's up? I'm Michelle B. This is Channel Nodes, and since I started Channel Nodes, I have been like really admiring other YouTubers. I've just really started noticing all of the like little things that YouTubers are doing that help them just like kill it on YouTube. So today I'm talking about three YouTubers that I really dig and what they do really freaking well on YouTube that you can do too in your own way. So a lot of things that I'm talking about in this video I've actually talked about before, but there are actual examples in this video, which I think is always helpful. So the first YouTuber is Simply Kenna. And if you have not seen this girl's YouTube channel, you are freaking missing out. She is fabulous. So the main thing that Simply Kenna does really freaking well is visual consistency. Quick side note, you should check out my whole video on creating a style guide or visual consistency. I'll link it in the description down below. So Kenna has an instantly visible, just minimal and rustic vibe as soon as you go onto her channel. Like her visual consistency is almost crazy. Super warm tones are scattered all throughout her videos. Her faux sheep skin shows up in just about every one of her uploads. Her background is nearly always simple and white with a few ornaments that go with her vibe. She even has the same like crackly overlay in every single one of her videos. So what you can learn from Kenna is to plan the visual aspects of your channel. You probably wouldn't decorate a room without first deciding the vibe that you wanted that room to give so I don't see why you should treat your YouTube channel any different. So go forth and create a consistent intro. Maybe get like a color thing going kind of like Simply Kenna. And if you haven't already you should almost definitely fill out my style guide because visual consistency is so appealing and also so easily doable. The second YouTuber that I am looking at is Steal the Spotlight. <sighs> Katie from Still the Spotlight. Oh, she has crazy dedication levels. And what she does really freaking well is once again consistency, but consistency in the type of content that she's uploading. So not the visual consistency that simply Kenna has, because let's be real, Kenna is on a whole nother level. Like another level from me, another level from Katie, another level from every other YouTuber. But Katie from Still the Spotlight is crazy consistent in the type of stuff that she's uploading. So if you know Still the Spotlight, the first thing that comes to mind is fashion, lookbooks, clothes styling. I don't have a thing that I stick with in my main channel, but I wish I did because it's just so effective. So Katie posts fashion videos, except for the occasional like DIY makeup video that's thrown in there very infrequently. So by creating those constantly consistent types of videos, she's really made herself like the fashion expert. If I have trouble styling something, like I'm like, oh, I'm gonna wear sneakers today, oh, what should I wear with them? I would instantly go to Steal the Spotlight because I know she has videos on styling everything. For now, this channel is a passion project that I do on the side, purely because I enjoy it. But someday, if it ever grows into anything bigger than this, I want to do interviews with YouTubers and Katie is one of the first people that I would want to interview and just like pick her brain. So the third channel is Cheap Lazy Vegan because of that niche though. So in my Plan Your YouTube channel video, I talk about creating specific videos in a specific way for a specific type of audience. Getting specific. Cheap Lazy Vegan is like a perfect example of what I am talking about. It has vegan recipes slash guidance videos for cheap, lazy people who are vegan slash going vegan slash want to be healthier. She basically killed it with how specific her niche is. I am a cheap, lazy person who wants to find more vegan or vegetarian meals and her channel is now a go-to place for me whenever I just can't think of what to create. So that is what's up. Those are three YouTube channels and the reasons why they are killing it. I thought it would be really good to give you guys examples of the stuff that I've talked about. So hopefully this video is helpful to you. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on doing YouTube if you haven't already and I will see you soon. Your intro was really freaking long. I have seen an intro that was 1 minute and 30 seconds before and that to me, as a, someone with a short attention span, is unbelievable. Like I was like, what? It keeps on going? How? <laughs>